This is the English Institute of Sport in Manchester. And inside there are the team behind our country's most successful athletes. They use science to make them the best in the world. For exercise physiologists like Connor Taylor, measuring heart rate is one of the most important ways to monitor an athlete's performance. So what's this device? This is a heart rate monitor strap and a receiver, in this case, is a watch. Yeah. So Andy will put that on. As well as measuring Andy's heart rate, we're also going to look at the amount of oxygen he's consuming. So we're going to have Andy run on the treadmill and we'll start to see at what point or what speed or intensity um, Andy's body starts to struggle. So what are we looking at here? So the main numbers we're interested in here in this test are Andy's heart rate, which currently is at 139 beats per minute. What changes are you looking for in the heart rate as Andy exercises? We're looking at distinct speeds at which that heart rate increases quite rapidly. So when we see a large increase in the heart rate, we know the body's working harder to maintain that exercise intensity. And then we know that when we prescribe training programs, um, the athlete needs to spend considerable time training at that heart rate to push his fitness along. And then I suppose um, because Andy's an elite athlete, his heart rate should just go back to resting yeah. very quickly. Far quicker than me. Our resting <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Andy. So, one indicator of an athlete's overall level of fitness is their heart rate recovery. As you get fitter, your heart rate should come back down to baseline quicker. And that's an indicator of someone's overall fitness. It just goes straight down, doesn't it? You see, it's plummeting. But measuring heart rates isn't only useful here in the laboratory. It's also a vital tool out on the track, where endurance runners use it to make sure they're training properly. So your coach will say, I want you to run I don't know, half an hour, keep your heart rate at 150 or 150. Yeah. It's quite precise. Yeah, it will be. So. Um... There might be four or five different zones. So for me, on a Sunday long run, it'd be 10 or 12 miles, and they'll say, right, I want you to be 150 and 162. I think that's my, my range. And if you go too high, it'll beep and it'll tell you, and then you might ease off a little bit. So you're not, you're not, you're not training too hard, and so it's, it is important to stay in that zone, otherwise I might get to eight miles and I might be too tired. Yeah, that level of precision is interesting. It's within about 10 beats per minute or yeah. so. Yeah, 10 beats per minute, it sounds so little, but actually, it makes those changes that happen in your body, if you do go a little bit hard, are, are quite drastic. What happens when you're running an Olympic 800 metres? Different training intensities will get your heart rate up a, to a different level. So um, probably for me, it'll probably be 195 maybe in an Olympic race, Olympic final maybe 210. 